So I can go. Action! Okay. Uh, what we're going to do today is a transfer image onto canvas using some golden fluid matte medium. Uh, here's the finished product. And I've got a primed canvas here. You could do any background color you want or any combination of colors. For the purposes of the demo though, I just mixed up a tint of yellow uh, because my transfer image is pure black and I thought the contrast would work well for what we're doing right now. Um, whatever color you want, you just have to let it dry first. That's going to be important before you put your image down. So this one's ready to go. What I've got is just a laser jet print um, of anything you want. You can do something that has mid-tones. We made this one entirely black and white. Um, again, just to keep it basic for the purpose of the demo. So we're going to put some matte medium down. Don't be stingy with it. And you don't have to worry about being neat. This is going to dry clear. If you had time and you wanted to, letting the first coat dry and adding a second one wouldn't hurt anything but it'll be just fine with one thick coat. Alright, we're going to put our image face down. Um, you have to do this while your medium is wet. And something to keep in mind is that if you're doing some sort of image that has letters or numbers, you have to make sure to print your image in reverse because it's going to show up opposite when you're done. It's not going to make a difference with this, so I just printed them off straightforward. I did think ahead and I knew I was using a 5x7 canvas, so I sort of cropped my image accordingly. But my matte medium is still damp. Make sure you're pressing your paper down everywhere. If you get little bubbles, just squeeze them out. You want to try your best not to get any of this medium on the back because it's going to be waterproof. And this project works by getting it damp and peeling the back off once this dries. So air bubbles out. Don't get any medium on the back. Here's a dry version. So I've just got a bowl of water and a sponge that has a scrubby side on it. We're just, it doesn't take a lot of water, but we're going to get our paper damp. And you can see when your paper's saturated because your image really starts to show through. Then you start in with the scrubby side of your sponge. And that damp paper will just start rolling off and leave only the black from your print off. You don't need to be too aggressive or you will start rubbing off the black. If you do a little bit, it's still cool. It makes it look kind of distressed. But obviously there are going to be certain parts you don't want to lose. This is a really easy, fun project for people that maybe aren't super confident in their drawing skills or illustration skills. 
uh, because you can use any image you want from a photograph or whatever kind of graphic you have and you still end up with a neat handmade piece of art and it's super fast probably the most time consuming part is just getting all these little paper goobers off to show your image underneath. And that's pretty close. With the finished copy, I did do a coat of gloss medium over the top. Um, if, if you like the glossy finish, and it helps kind of hide any little paper fibers that are left, um, and it'll just keep it nice longer. This is just straightforward gloss medium. If you wanted more color, you could jazz it up and add a little bit of one of your acrylics to that gloss medium. I just added a little bit of red so that it was still transparent, and I put a coat of that everywhere, and then I kind of wiped it away um, on Tag's face, and it makes it a little more dimensional. It makes it, makes it kind of pop arty. So really very easy, very limited amount of supplies that it requires. It's a lot of fun. And cut. And cut.